This video lesson is to do with manual handling. It is related to the health and safety unit, which you will have a summative exam at the end. Please ensure that you take notes and answer the quiz after the video. The lesson objectives for this video is so that after the video, you will be able to answer questions on correct lifting and moving and simple precautions. The Manual Handling Operation Regulations 1992 came into force on the 1st of January 1993. Please take note of the date of the Regulations 1992 as it might pop up in your exam. The main aim of the Regulations is to prevent injury not only to the back but to any part of the body. Employees have certain duties when it comes to manual handling. They must avoid the need for manual handling. If this is not possible, they must make a suitable and sufficient assessment of all operations, take the appropriate steps to reduce the risk and to provide information on the weight of the load. The main issue with not following manual handling is that many people who don't follow it damage their back. The three functions of the spine are one which you would need to know for your exam. The spine provides support for the upper skeleton, it protects the spinal cord and it acts as a shock absorber. When lifting a weight manually, you need to ensure that you are lifting it correctly. First, you need to stop and think. By this, I mean you've got to assess the weight of the item you are carrying and think where you are taking it. You then position your feet so they're at least shoulder width apart. Then you bend your knees and you adopt a good posture. You get a good firm grip around the item that you're carrying and you move your feet to walk. Do not twist your body without moving your feet. You then put down the item you're carrying and adjust it if necessary. There are a couple of simple precautions that you can take to stop you injuring yourself or others around you. Never try and lift anything beyond your capability. Each person's capability will be different depending on their weight and their strength. If the item you are aiming to lift seems too heavy, ask a colleague for help. Just ensure that your colleague also knows how to lift correctly. Where possible, try and avoid using manual handling. If it is possible to use an engine hoist, a transmission jack or a trolley jack, use these items of lifting equipment instead. So now that you've learned about manual handling, please attempt the quiz underneath this video.